What's going on you guys? Uh, I am now going to flush the evaporator of the air conditioning system. Uh, since I'm replacing everything else, you know, I'm replacing a condenser, replacing all the hoses related, uh, you do not flush the dryer or accumulator, this is called. You do not flush that. You usually should replace it, so I'm replacing this also. Uh, basically replacing everything I can access you know, on this side of the truck. Uh, so I've already removed the dryer, which is usually, you know, sitting right there in that little holder. And then that's where the evaporator port is coming out of the firewall right there. So what you do, once you've got all that done, now I, what I did, I left the lower hose connected, you know, that comes back out of the firewall down there. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, you got, you know, the hose going in the top, Hose coming back out the bottom down here that comes all the way down to the front and usually connects to your condenser right here. Well, I'm going to use this as my drain because I'm replacing this hose anyway. So what I did is connected a little, you know, plastic tubing to the end of this hose that is usually connected right here where the orifice tube goes. Got a little, you know, system going on where I will just, it'll be able to drain out into just a regular old catch pan down at the bottom here. So uh, so what you do, you know, you take your flush solvent, that you can get this at any uh, auto parts store. This is made for cleaning out air conditioning systems. It removes, you know, oil and other residue and whatnot. So you'll combine this, spraying it into that hole over there, you know, let it sit for a couple of minutes and then blow it out with your compressed air, which you see I have already done there. So I'm going to do this for you real quick. Hold on. All right. So, and of course you'll need a, a rubber tipped nozzle or you'll need to seal this tip on your air gun because you're going to blow this out here. Anyway, you take your canister of AC flush. It already has a seal on it right there, so you just poke that guy right in there firmly, and flush a ruski in there. It's gonna hopefully remove any debris that may be in the evaporator. Uh, you know, remove any oily residue that's in there that doesn't belong there. I've already done this once, so I'm just doing it for a little demonstration here. Then you'll take your air hose, and I've already got it, I got it still connected on the lower end down here, so it'll run out to the front down into a drip pan. Make sure this is sealed as well as you put it in the uh, top port here. And you can hear it. See if I can disconnect you here. There's the tube coming out, as you see. And this stuff evaporates quickly. Anyway, I'm just running compressed air through it. You know, if you've got an older vehicle and a lot of your components are original. You should probably replace most of your air conditioning setup. Um, you know, as far as what you can access out here in the engine compartment. Excuse the compressor there. All right, that's that. As you've seen in my other videos, I'm doing an entire project here. You know, this is a 1990 model. And from what I could tell, almost all of the components of the air conditioning were original. And it was working. But the compressor got noisy. Uh, you know, it finally kind of bit the dust. So I'm replacing the compressor, all the hoses relating to the compressor, the dryer, all hoses relating to the dryer. And... Um, and the condenser up front, replacing all that. So, if you're replacing parts, you don't have to do any flushing, but if 